Hello guys, welcome back once again, and this is news I'm very excited about because uh, I own LEGO Worlds on my PC, and it's a very fun game, though I haven't really played it as much as I want to due to other things going on, uh, because my 8-Bit Ninja gameplay channel, I've only put a couple episodes of that on there, I'll put a link to the channel below, uh, and I really want to get more into it, playing like Plants for Design, Modern Warfare on there, and uh, Garden Warfare, and Minecraft and stuff like that. But what I'm really excited about is the new patch for this game is coming, and it's going to add a lot of new features, fixes, and improvements to the game. Now, this is basically LEGO's answer to Minecraft. And now that Microsoft owns Minecraft, and Minecraft basically now is starting to, obviously, uh, we're starting to get snapshots again, but, but, my, but let's be honest here. Minecraft is posed to finally have competition. Now, Terraria has always been considered the only competition to Minecraft, though they never did nearly as successful as Minecraft has. I mean, Minecraft is basically, what, second or third selling highest game of all time right now? 70 million copies sold. Uh, but Lego ha Lego games are awesome. Lego games have a full following. And we're wondering what if they were ever going to do this. So basically, developer TT Games on Monday announced the first details of Update 2, which will be more focused on improving and opening up existing content rather than adding new stuff, which is fine. Uh, because there is a lot they need to obviously still streamline. Update 2 will add underwater gameplay, a zoomable map that can track multiple waypoints, include, even beam them into the world, a new camera item that allows you to strap in uh, in-game photos. The update also tweaks LEGO World's in-game menus, adds more abilities, and includes various, in interest, uh, includes various improvements to areas of stability, performance, and terrain generation. Which is obviously, if you play the game, you know, that's still a work in progress. Again, the game's still in beta. Uh, you also see, obviously, from the... Uh, they will publish the full patch notes later, but they did patch some stuff. Uh, it, what TT Games was not ready to come on a specific date, but the developer is saying it's hoping to release it soon. Again, this game was released in June uh, with no pre-release announcement or build-up. And again, early access to Steam is only for $15 on PC. It's not an incredibly expensive game. Basically the same price, more or less, of Minecraft. So here's the whole breakdown. So basically, underwater, you'll be able to explore and build underwater. If you find yourself running out of air, try the sub or one of those characters that can breathe under, who don't need to breathe underwater, which are those in the game. Discoveries. For the first time, players will have to do a little more work to discover some of the characters and creatures this is the first step in what we believe will be a more rewarding discovery system. But what if you already have everything? Well, you can still see the same thing, but there's also a new option to reset your save game without affecting your world or build bricks, naturally, so you can start discovering again from scratch, which I think is cool that you can start discovering from scratch again, but not have to blow everything up and start all over again. Like, it's stuff you built still there. Stuff, it's just that yeah, that's cool. Now, this is one cool thing I like. That does happen to people on Minecraft. Of course, there is a mod you can download uh, to set waypoints. You, map, you'll never get lost again unless, like us, you actually don't read a map. Anyway, that's just that's what they put there to be funny. Anyway, uh, it gets some new, great new features like adding and removing waypoints uh, also appears as beams in the world and different zoom levels, uh, which you can obviously tune up or turn it off whenever you want to. And there you go. The camera item. Snap happy users can take stream screenshots using in-game camera item to capture their favorite builds, creatures, or rocks. Uh, so, again, this is probably a case for people who maybe they use Instagram or, or maybe want to put it on their Facebook. Then or that, that completely makes sense that they did that. Okay. Virtual floor. They've added a new sub-feature to allow brick building and tools. This option is an easy way to build in the air or add detail to a specific layer or to keep some of your hard work protected while you go while you go crazy creatively. They've also slipped in a free related feature on the mouse that allows you to place an individual brick in a free space at the crosshair cursor rather than when using a controller without altering the way it looks normally. Uh, and then they've also added the LXFML export update. Uh, they've updated this export tool to now include props. Any props you place will now be stored within the model data, meaning you will be able to pick it up, pack up your house, and place exactly as it is anywhere you like. Again, there you go there. Of course, tracking camera added a new camera mode. 
This is a more rigorous setup that requires the player to control rotation and distance a little more as opposing to the regular chase camera. Uh, the GUI, the grid in the various menus have had a little bit of uh, basically clean them up a little bit. Uh, now neater, uh, screens easier to use. Again, the, this was something you expected that the, G, the GUI would get updated as they went along. Uh, and of course, info box, you can now hold the back button uh, on a wire 360 controller, for example, and turn it on or off instead of having to navigate the pointer. As with the GUI grids, this is a small convenience in advance of bigger improvements. Abilities. There are quite a few, uh, obviously, uh, cool, awesome, funny things they say going into this update. You might tease on them, but for now, you'll have to wait. So who knows what abilities they're talking about right now. Uh, and, of course, uh, this is basically, uh, like I said, for content, basically new discoveries, uh, you know, for, for builds. Uh, they also said that, uh, you know, new new animations, the audio, any of the game. Because building will become a big part of this game as we go on. Right now, more about exploring, but this this game is going to a big component of this game will be building what you want to build. Even though you can put Lego sets into the world, it still would be cool, you know, they know that building's the future. And of course there's a lot of fixes. Again, a lot of updates coming to this game. Obviously underwater building would be cool to people who love, uh, have never done it before, and that's just a new feature in the game. But again, I'm really excited about update 2 for Lego Worlds. It's a fun little game. You can see the promise in it early, and obviously with each update, Update 1 added a lot of stability to the game, add a lot of uh, more playability, and this clearly is going to do the same thing. Not add a lot of, obviously, a lot of new things, but improve what's already there, which is very important. you got to improve what's there first before you start adding new stuff. Anyway, what do you guys think of Update 2 for LEGO Worlds? Does this get you more excited for this PC game uh, on Early Access for $15? Or are you just like the person who wait till it's out of beta to play the game? Uh, anyway... Let me hear your guys' opinions like always, and I will make another video soon.